guys, right now I'm working on editing my video for today's suit of the day, but uh, I just wanted to take a second and show you my website. It's uh, up and active. I've got uh, some things up here, um, like a little bit about me page. We can go check that out. And it has uh, just a description of how I got into following my passion for fashion. And um, you can also check out all my recent posts. Uh, so it's going to have my reviews and my vlogs, and it's going to be updated daily. And uh, I put a back order of like six of them up there, but every day I'm going to try to add another older one. So if you come back, it will be updated on the regular. Um, here is my suit of the day from yesterday. It was uh, the vlog number four. And the website just allows you to see the picture. Up here, you can watch the YouTube straight from the site. So you don't have to go anywhere else to uh, try to find all the stuff for WTMC. Other than that, I'll have links at the bottom. Sometimes, like for instance, uh, this particular um, very affordable waistcoat uh, on Amazon. I have a link to it. So just look there down near the bottom. You can find links and it will take you directly to whatever site it is. Uh, a lot of them are Coach, obviously, and Michael Kors and stuff like that. But when I can find affordable uh, designer appearing uh, products, I will. Uh, for instance, this uh, waistcoat runs 20 to 25 dollars and it's the exact one I have on now. Um, it's, it's a little gimmicky it, but it's fun you know. Um, I throw it into my wardrobe every once in a while just to have a blast but anyways uh, enjoy today's suit of the day video and uh, see you around. Bye. <laughs> Hey guys, today I'm filming in front of my house because as a little side note, I wanted to point out the flag I put in. I had a dead standing tree that I was begrudgingly uh, forced to remove, but it was for the best. And I uh, didn't quite know what to do with the stump right away. So what I did is I uh, sanded it down, took off all the bark and uh, rounded off the edges and stained it mahogany and put in the flag. Of course, uh, Old Glory at top and then the Marine Corps flag to uh, as a little call out to my days in the Marine Corps but um, I was a little late running to an engagement this morning and kind of got dressed half willy-nilly and on the way there I thought I kind of looked like a ringleader so that inspired me today we're headed out to the dog park and I'm gonna get Gunner come here he hasn't gotten a, a shave in a while because of the Corona so he's gonna be my little tiger at the dog park so let's head inside and see if I can wire up a whip and um, let's uh, let's head on in come on before I headed inside I thought you might want to take a closer look to see it's maintained it's most mostly it's a appeal and it's desire but I went with this dark mahogany because what I was aiming for is a fake looking stump um, I wanted to look like a Disney quality fake so I put a couple of coats of mahogany on it and I had it left rough cut so it steps up like this and uh, really adds some character to the whole um, look I think I'll show some pictures real quick of the process but I didn't take many so mostly it's just a dead tree and uh, half a picture of me and half a picture of a half stand it's dumb so see you inside <laughs> All right, guys, so we've got what we're going to use as our whip, but we need to add some uh, stability to this. So for that, I've got some wire and uh, rubber bands. I thought about weaving, because this is a woven belt, and I thought about weaving the wire. So I'm, I still might try that, because now that I look at it, it might be a good idea. Um, actually, I like that idea. So 
that's the beauty of crafting or making things or just coming up with whatever you want to do is literally while in the middle of it you can be like no I'm gonna bedazzle it this way so and I can um now first I need to know I need to, this is some really flimsy wire and I'm gonna be out there and I'm gonna try to hook a treat to the end of it and make it look like I'm taming the tiger I will not touch my dog with the whip I would never do that but I need to kind of do a test run real quick so I'll do a loose a very loose weave and see if this will even hold with one one thing of wire or if I need to double it up <laughs> okay so let me let me get to crafting and I'll be right with you guys okay I've got it all weaved through the belt but um, the problem is, is it looks really good to a certain point, um, and then it loses its rigid, rigidity. That's not a word. Eh, look it up. I don't know. Rigid. Meh, whatever. It it becomes malleable and it falls down. Um, I need to brace the back with something, and I've got the rubber bands, but I'm searching my brain and I don't have like a ruler to cut up. Um, I don't have paint stick. I'm kind okay. I'll figure this one out. Give me a second, and um, we're gonna have our circus lion's whip here in a minute. All right, bye guys. All right, we were victorious. I just racked my brain and racked my brain standing in here thinking about what I could use. Finally wised up and just went to the basement and this is a rod, a nice thick hard rod from a canopy that goes over a little um, lounge chair. So we'll have to replace this when we're done, but this is definitely going to add that rigidity that we were looking for. And you know, leave, leave down in the comments your comment on rigidity you know what I can solve this no if I use the Google command it will wake up everybody's never mind I can't solve it it will be a mystery unbeknownst to us okay so I'm gonna have to rubber band this up uh, grab the dogs get them ready to go to the park and uh, I'll see you out there all right, WTMCs, we made it out to my local park here in Kansas City, Missouri. It's called Wagging Tells. I love it. It's my favorite. It's always really well maintained, and there's a small side and a large side. And um, I walked the track for months without realizing that it's in the shape of a bone. So they really do, do it all out here. And speaking of which, about a year and a half ago, the Boy Scouts came in, and they put in some playground spots for the dogs. Um, right in front of me over here, we've got... Um, a little uh, jumping hole for them to jump through. Um, we've got a tube for them to crawl through. We've got right over here, and I know you can't see it, but it's gonna be in the photo of the day. We've got this bridge, and I think it's gonna be perfect because I'm gonna get my tiger to uh, do some tricks on the bridge for us. So uh, right now there's some um, people sitting on there and enjoying their day. So we're just gonna let them hang out and uh, we'll, uh, we'll just, let the dogs play until then. All right, see you in a few. All right, usually they don't like the ramp, so I brought some cookies, and it just so happens that it looks like I'm at the circus with the whole fitting theme, but this is actually the top of a sandwich, uh, a bread bag I chopped off because I'm out of Ziplocs. Anyways, let's try to get them acquainted to the ramp so they feel nice and comfortable, and then we'll do the photos. Donna, you want a cookie? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come here. Up, 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 up. Oh, good boy. Up, 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 up. Up, up. Here's a cookie. Come here. Good girl. All right, here's a cookie, Mimu. 